me again Tell a friend to tell a friend hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl mel in the building i know i have been gone for so long guys i'm so sorry like y'all gotta keep me accountable okay i can't just be disappearing like that but anyway i'm going in and doing my brows with my eco brow gel as usual and with my ella girl concealer fun and you guys should also let me know if you would like a brow tutorial for um especially for beginners because i feel like i never show you guys like really how i do my brows and i also i'm going to get my brows done so i can show you guys like how to do your brows when your brows are done and when your your brows are not done so y'all can see both i don't know but you guys let me know what you guys would like to see and yeah i'll film the video it's me again, tell a friend to tell a friend Dadanamotion.com I'd be lying if I say you weren't someone that I'm into, into And don't be standing in front of your friends, you know I'm not into, into that Don't need to hide, don't even try You could be mine, oh so i know at this point you guys are like oh my god she took ages to do her brows but let me tell y'all it be like that sometimes and especially when my brows are like two different shapes but i had to go and fix them so now i'm doing this technique that i learned from chloe dash where you like join the your brows kind of ish with the concealer to kind of see if they start at the same point so that's a tip for like beginners so guys i applied my fun concealer as a base for my eyes and i also set it with my translucent and Ben Nye powder and now I'm going in in my crease with that orange eyeshadow for my Morphe palette you guys have seen me use that palette several times and now I'm going ahead with the purple from that same palette and just building up for the rest of my lead so when you guys recreate this look use a brighter like concealer for your um base so everything pops more because it was hard for me to like build up the color i had to spend so much time on it and now i'm going ahead and using a black eyeliner for my base for my black eyeshadow base so i will also recommend that you guys use a gel liner instead of a liquid liner because the liquid liner tends to dry really fast so you have to move like 10 times faster and it also like can crease up in your eyes and stuff like that i would not recommend it if you guys do not know how to use it so i would recommend use a gel liner i did i just didn't have a gel liner so i just had to make it work with what i had but if you can use a gel liner use it i know <laughs> i went on and on but yeah so I'm using this Inglot and I'm gonna just cut in the middle of my crease, kind of creating like a halo eye. Could be mine. Oh, you say you want to take control, control. Oh, you say you want to take control, control. The way you did do me a back back. No kissing, babe. No touching, babe. Yeah. No kissing, babe. And don't come. So guys, I'm going in with my Lancome Tint Edol Foundation. So guys, let me tell you about that foundation, okay? It is so good. It blends so smoothly. It goes so smooth into the skin. And also, I tend to have like a smile line. So I crease in there a lot when I do my makeup. But with this foundation, it doesn't really happen. I could have my makeup on for like four to five hours before it starts really like creasing. So I absolutely love it. I have a couple of tips for my girls with smile lines so try to apply as less products as you can in that area and really go in and set it with your translucent powder and let it sit while you do the rest of your makeup so those are like a couple of things that I would definitely say that it works and try to use uh, especially if you have like oily skin or you get oily in that area try to use a matte foundation or if you're not oily use a foundation that don't have too much oil in it in that area so guys i use my concealer fun to highlight my face and now i'm going in and setting it with my true complexion contour palette medium to dark by black radiance and i'm also contouring my face now i'm gonna go ahead and set my highlight 
with my translucent powder and also cut my crease and apply some highlighter the same highlighter that i use all the time y'all i'm gonna leave it in the description box below so you guys can check it now let's trench that face in that fix plus okay <laughs> and pop some lashes y'all know a look is never a look without some lashes okay <laughs> So now I'm going in with my white liner by NYX. That's one of my favorite things to do because it really helps open up my eye and it makes my eye look pop more. So yeah, and I'm lining my lip with the same thing I used to do my brows. And I'm going to pop some lipstick, guys. I'm going to leave all the info in the description box. I hope you guys really like this look. Then I'm going to go ahead and change that red lip. I'm going to let you guys see. <laughs> but yeah, really definitely check the description box for all the details on what I use for this look. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye.